Hello, welcome to another SCLC, Southern Christian Leadership Conference program. SCLC today, we're so happy to be with you. Before we get into our main topic, we want to uh, convey the message that we'll be recognizing former ambassador Andrew Young as he received a very prestigious award from the French government. This, this is something that, that the Legion Award is really something that we should be proud of. And the ambassador himself will be talking. Be right back with that comment. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going back to violence. What took place in Lewiston, Maine. It is really increasing in terms of the threat of violence, not only in America, but throughout the world, of course. We live in a global society. How many times have I said, we must be concerned about the globalness of people living and working together. Ladies and gentlemen, Lewiston, Maine, what a sad situation. Uh, 18 people just murdered, slaughtered. Homicide in America and throughout the world is becoming too normalized. Too normalized. We just see it on TV, pick up the paper, go on the next day, we forget about it. No, we must stop and do something about this terrible, horrific problem we have within society. What disturbs me so about Lewiston, Maine, is that the young man's parents recognize it was a problem. And from my investigation, they actually got in touch with law enforcement. The authorities of of, of keeping peace and bringing about uh, the eradication of a violent situation from which we had in Lewiston, Maine. They knew something was wrong and they informed the authorities, the law enforcement people, the leaders within the official capacity to prevent something like this. But there was no action. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a problem when the parents or close relatives or friends inform law enforcement officers and they are not in the capacity of being psychologists or in the psychology field of recognizing professionally what is taking place with an individual. And you don't have to be a professional to know something is wrong and the potential is there. Somebody need to say something. And they did. And the response was not looked upon as being serious. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm saying mental illness is something that we must all understand. It's so prevalent in our society. And we need to recognize it when we can. And the parents told him he's committed to do some serious harm to other individuals like a massacre. And that's what took place. Ladies and gentlemen, we must understand this could happen to any community, any family member, anybody in our society. With all of the pressure and with all of the restraints of freedom that we supposed to have, everybody taking our constitutional rights away from us, black, white, green, or blue. But the oppressedness of people it's not only with African Americans, or uh, the Caucasian race, or the Mongoloid race, or the Nibroid race. It's with all races of people. We only have one race. That's the human race. Hopefully one day we can witness that for ourselves and become better respectability toward one another. I'm not going to get on my soapbox, but I am. Something must be done about the violence and the accessibility of assault weapons and all weapons to a large degree. We are too relaxed and too isolated and too concerned about us forward no more. Just the people around me, my family, not even my neighbor. But ladies and gentlemen, we are the neighbors that must get involved. We are the family that must be included with love and bringing about the respectability 
to mankind, womankind, and all God's children. Think about what I just said because it's about love. We're going to move on from there. We want to recognize and honor a great pioneer in the civil rights movement, former Ambassador Andrew Young, who just received one of the most prestigious awards given from the French government, the French Legion Award was given only to just five other people. A bit prior to former Ambassador Andrew Young. He's well deserving of it, and he's a part of SCLC, the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. And it was given just a few days ago. Let's listen to his comments. Ambassador Young, you are a living legend. Your name is forever inscribed in the history of the American civil rights movements. For decades now, you have worked to foster peace and justice across the world. Through the Andrew Young Foundation, you have combated poverty, discrimination, and injustice. Your foundation is a beacon of hope for the most vulnerable among us and a force for positive change. Your message of justice, equality, and nonviolence resonates far beyond the U.S. borders. It lives uh, on its heart of those who are fighting for a better future throughout the world. As you know, France's motto, Liberté, Égalité, Fraternité, Liberty, Equality, and Fraternity. And it's safe that you have embodied these words with your life's work. So, Monsieur Andrew Jackson Young Jr. Tonight, France recognizes once again your name. Je vous remets des insignes de officier de la Légion d'honneur. something like this happens, I realize how blessed I have been because nothing in my life has ever been planned. Uh, it just happened. And I don't know what will happen tomorrow, but it will be as good, if not better, than today. And I think in the course of that, growing up in New Orleans and being um, involved in understanding the world. Well, the United States could not have been the United States without friends. And uh, they got a little more money from uh, the Netherlands, but um, there's been this partnership in democracies that has helped to change the world and make it the global economy that we have today. And it was people from all over the world uh, that influenced me and that uh, helped me to understand that we are all bound together in a single garment of destiny. And if you have any doubts about that, just turn on your news any time of the day or night, and you realize that, as we say, there but for the grace of God go I. We could look like this. We could have chosen violent approaches to our differences. But we've always had, in addition to our democracy and our faith in a creator of this universe. We've always had a sense that, uh, that we can be better than we are and that we can help others to be better than they are. And that as we've worked to try to make each other better, 
we become better and we're, we're enabled to live together as brothers and sisters. And ladies and gentlemen, we had our cameraman. Our cameraman was there. And again, thanks to former ambassador Andrew Young, SCLC was also at the table viewing this historical event that was received upon none other than our leader in his own right, former ambassador Andrew Young. Ladies and gentlemen, again, love is what love does. I keep saying we live in a globalized society. What goes on in Russia, Ukraine, Israel, Lebanon, Gaza Strip that I just left uh, with my wife and others, uh, none other than uh, uh, the Honorable Dr. Plummer who invited us with many others and in attendees from around America and throughout the world. We just want to say thank you for all of the people who understand the globalness of the necessity in being globalized. Because what goes on around the world is in our backyard. Let's think about it and love and respect one another. You know why? Because love is what love does. We love you. Let's stay prayed up. God bless you.